you've warned that monkeypox cases could rise into August. Do you have projections on what those total cases would be and how many would be in children? You know, I don't have projections as of yet. I have seen projections that are um, depending on on uh, estimates that are go from very high to very low. So I, I don't think that we have a stable estimate now to see what those projections will be. What I can tell you is with the scale up of testing, with the scale up of information that we are getting out to providers, we anticipate that there will be more cases before there are less cases. Um, we do have seen now two cases that have occurred in children. Both of those children um, are traced back to uh, individuals who come from the men who have sex with men community, the gay men, uh, men community. Um, and so when we have seen those cases in children, they have generally been what I call adjacent to the community most at risk. I One should also monkey. mention, importantly, those children are doing well. Thank you for that update. One more, that monkeypox has become permanently entrenched in the United States. Is there a threshold of cases? Is there something else that you're looking at? You know, your your question implies that that's going to be our steady state, and I would like to push back on that being our steady state. What I'd like, what I would I'm not, envision- I'm not suggesting is, it's going to be the steady state. It's just a possibility <laughs> that some experts have said could happen, especially if monkeypox gets in to the animal reservoir, or if it circulates that way. So as the head of the CDC, certainly. is there something you're looking at as the red flag, the warning light? Well, certainly um, one of the things that we have said is it would be we really want to try and work to prevent a reverse zoonosis or getting back, getting into the animal community, what I will, or the animal population. What I will say is we're working really hard now on containment, on testing, on isolation of cases, on vaccination of those who might either be at highest risk or potentially exposed. And I do think over time, um, when we have ample vaccines available, as people are understanding the um, um, the things that they can do to the pr protect themselves, how and when they should present to care, how clinicians can identify this disease and provide information and treat it, that we will um, get to a place where we are able to contain this um, in this community. But importantly, or outside, we will be able to contain this from this community. Um, Importantly, though, I think we also have to recognize that this outbreak is now not just in the United States and not just in areas endemic in Africa, it's in 70 countries. And so unless we have um, trust in our vaccines, scale up of our vaccines so that people at risk um, choose to get vaccinated, um, and we do so uh, around the world, we will continue to be at risk of somebody traveling to a place where, where monkeypox may have not been contained and bringing it back here to this country. So the hard work ahead of us is um, working within some constraints of vaccine availability right now, and the U.S. government is actually working to procure more vaccine. But working within those constraints right now, ultimately we need to get to a place where we have more and more vaccine available. We are offering that vaccine, and people are, are taking us up mm. on that vaccine, especially those in the highest-risk communities.